okay guys i want to show you guys what my kitchen looks like before i start cleaning it i cannot work i cannot work in a dirty kitchen i've been so tired all day today i took the kids out for swimming and you know went to the park and everything like that so um i would like i have to clean all of this before i even start cleaning my leg is really tired it's usually my leg's job but i'm gonna let him be everybody is tired today he went for his soccer game today so anyways um i'm gonna be making these mackerel fish and i have some peppers here i'm gonna use fresh tomatoes that malik just went to pick up from the grocery store downstairs and yeah this is what my kitchen looks like this part over here was from this morning when i cooked breakfast for the kids and this was from my workout this afternoon so um yeah i'm gonna be focusing on the kitchen clean the kitchen out and then i will start cooking so let's get to it than it seems we were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream we could see no reason but we should ever try to go to sleep remember every weekend we stayed up late and then went home late. i wish that i could live that dream live that dream again because it was only you Growing up, said we'd be on forever. You taught me how to love, and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby. It was you and me. We could never fall, but nobody could break us. Yeah, I thought we had it all. Take me back to when it was you and me, you and me, baby. It was you and me. Okay, guys, so I just finished cooking right now. And sorry, that's it, cooking. No, 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 no. I just finished cleaning right now so everywhere is a little tidy in the kitchen right now honestly like only this area is tidy my dining table right now we have a lot of stuff because my husband just got back from work and he also stepped out again and he brought so many stuff that he shopped so we just left everything on the dining table but this part right now is good for me to cook okay guys so we're gonna be having um, fish stew and yam for our fasting tonight so we're gonna be breaking our fast in about an hour and a half so I have time to like cook the yam and then this too i want to show you guys how i cook my own yam and stew it's really simple i feel like all nigerians cook it the same way that i'm about to show you guys if you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel please also check out my other channels that i'm going to be leaving in the comment section below which is my family channel which is like my everyday vlog channel and also my children channel and my older daughter's channel, my younger daughter's channel, and my main channel. We all have channels in this house. So please make sure you check all our channels out. You're gonna love them. And with that being said, let's get to the cooking. So over here, I have all the dishes that I washed. I'm just gonna leave them on the side for now so they can dry. When they completely dry, I'll be putting them away. But for now, I'm just gonna be using this side to do my prep. So I'm gonna be getting my, um, I'm gonna be getting my yam out. Um, so I have this yam. So we have a little bit left over here that I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna be cutting some of this. So I'm gonna use this one first and I'm gonna be cutting some of this. So yeah. So I'm gonna get water, um, just a nice cold water. Okay, so I'm gonna be having water on the side over here my yam there's no really way how i slice my yam it's just like a regular yam um i'm just gonna slice it like round I have um, I don't know I think in in the Caribbeans and Jamaicans they have different kind of yam compared to the one Nigerians and Guinea has I don't know I'm not sure um, 
if you are from the Caribbean and you've tried um, African yam, let me know the difference between African yam and the Caribbean yam. Where I live, I could not find any Caribbean yam. I feel like they look like the same because I've seen it before, but I just haven't tried it yet. So let me know if you've tried both and tell me the difference. If they are the same, that means like, <laughs> that's awesome. But yeah, let me know. So I, I peel, like I peel the whole skin out and I cut it in half. That way it cooks faster. You can leave it as round like that, but you don't have to. So I just like to peel and take out the skin and yeah. When they are too big, that's when I cut them in half. When they're not big, I leave them like that. over I'm gonna be keeping these um, I'm gonna actually slice this and use this later and yeah and I'm gonna wash my yam and I just wash it like on that cool water about one and a half cup of water in there and I'm gonna put my salt in it and I'm gonna be adding a little bit of salt some people actually like to put sugar in their yam I actually like to put sugar in my yam but my husband doesn't like sugar that much in his food he doesn't like sugar in his food so I'm not gonna put sugar in it but if you want, you can add sugar in it. Honestly, I enjoy eating it with sugar, but I will still eat it anyway with just salt. But my husband doesn't like sugar, like he's trying to cut sugar off his diet. So I'm not putting sugar in this, so just like that. And I'm gonna be slicing some onions in this, since in the yam. It just give it a really nice taste and smell. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lena? Is that for me? No, that's for cooking, I'm cooking this now. Um, is it for us? Yes. For me too? Yeah, for me. And the yam. Yeah. And I'm gonna cover it and let it cook. Try to put away all the dishes that I washed earlier.
so now I'm gonna be cleaning my fish. Like I said, I'm using the macro fish, which is like pretty big. You don't have to you don't have to put fish if you don't have fish or if you don't want to eat fish. You can just cook this too like that. But I'm gonna be using this macro fish. And I just cut it in three. I'm gonna check my yam now to see if it's ready. It's about 20 minutes now so it's been cooking and it's almost yeah yeah it's ready yeah it's definitely ready see my knife is like going through it so uh sorry my fork is like going through it so I'm gonna drink the little water left Okay guys, so I'm going to be blending my pepper now and I'm using the uh, regular big pepper, the bell pepper and I'm going to break it in there because the blender will not be able to like crush it out. So I'm just going to like cut it into pieces and I'm using like a large, like two largest ones. Also the tomato, I'm going to be cutting it into pieces. And I'm going to be using one for pepper. And I'm going to blend the whole thing. I'm not adding onions because I already diced my onions on the side. I'm going to add it on the... Ah, I'm going to show you guys.
So I just dump it in here and I'm gonna let it cook until the water is like um, like dry. So it's gonna take a little while. And my fish is still frying here. And yeah. I don't want the oil to be too much. I just wanna fry it slightly. And I'll be taking it out when it's dry. So I'm gonna do dishes again. I honestly don't know how many times I do dishes until I start watching my own video. Sometimes when I'm cooking, I I wash the dishes like I wash dishes like maybe seven times just because I don't want nothing in the sink. And yeah. So I'm doing the dishes again. So my fish is ready, I'm going to take them out from the oil and I'm going to place it on paper towel right here just so it can like absorb the oil better. And already now I'm not gonna reuse this oil because it's pretty dirty and this is um, I'm just gonna throw this oil out when it cools down I'm gonna use a fresh oil to cook the the fish stew so yeah I'm just gonna let this cool down before I throw it out so the stew is still cooking yeah it's still cooking it's still not ready yet there's still a bit of water left so yes Okay, uh, this is almost ready. I'm actually going to be adding my onions now, now that it's almost ready. And I'll wait till like about five minutes for the pepper to be ready and I add my onions. I just like the freshness of the onions, how it tastes in it. And yeah, I just like the freshness of the onions, like I said. So I'm just going to like let it cook for another maybe another two minutes and I'll add my oil in it okay so yes this is ready now I'm gonna add my oil and my other spices in it
I like palm oil in it because yam tastes really good with palm oil. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit of table oh, sorry table salt yeah salt in it and be careful when you like doing it like the way I'm doing it because salt sometimes can be crazy and I'm gonna be adding this chicken broth mix and I'm gonna be adding my curry I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme because I just like thyme and fish together. It goes so well. And I'm gonna mix it. I'm gonna turn down the heat. So I have my fish here. I'm going to like break the fish into it and take out the bones. And just gonna put it in like that. I don't want to like squish it in. I don't want to do that because I just like to feel the taste of my fish as a whole in my mouth. So that's why you can always like squeeze it in or break it down. You can always do that, but I, don't, I just don't want to break it down. I just want to put it like that as a whole. Okay, so this is the head left. My little uh, head fish head, head fish, fish head. So it's gonna be using this to, you know, so gary. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna cover it and put like on a really low temperature. I'm gonna let it cook for the next six minutes and it should be ready. Okay, so this is ready right now. This is what it looks like. And yeah. And here is the yam. So here is the yam. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. 
this is absolutely so delicious I feel like I'm in Nigeria right now um, yeah the smell the taste is everything and this is Yuzra and Malik's food and yeah so thank you so much for watching I'm gonna wait for my husband before I eat so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give me a big like subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next video don't forget to check out my other channel my blog channel and my main channel God bless you guys and bye bye